I remember when I was a kid, I was never allowed to watch these adult themed raunchy comedy movies. And now that I'm an adult, I still don't watch them. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Clown Show, starring yours truly. I watched this movie like once and it got stored somewhere in my brain. And my mind actually randomly ran on it the other day, so now we're here. So this counts as a first time viewing because it's been years. I remember this movie and another movie called Road Trip and from memory I think that was a knockoff of this one. But we'll get into that in another video. So the movie starts off at a high school graduation and Scott is excitedly telling Lana from Smallville that it's just the two of them for the summer. Scott, we need to talk. Oh god, we literally just got into the movie. I can't take all the lying and cheating on each other anymore. I never cheated on you. I know. Wow, they definitely just made her completely unlikable right off the bat, huh? She tells him he's too predictable and leaves. Yeah. Alright, stay black, Bert. <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean, though? <laughs> so Scott gets an email from his German pen pal, email pal, something, named Mike. And Coop tells him to be careful because he'd want to meet him. Then they're off to study and get ahead of their education at college. Nah, I'm kidding. They just went partying. And they're hanging out with a girl named Jen and her twin brother, Jamie. Who they don't see as a girl for some reason. It's never explained why though. The twins are leaving tomorrow to backpack around Europe and they're starting at Paris. Then a band comes on and the singer dedicates the song to his girlfriend, Lana. Yeah, she been with that guy for a year. So don't tell Scotty, Scotty doesn't know. Later that night, a very drunk Scott gets another email from Mike apologizing for hearing about his girlfriend and offers to come to America to hang out. And well, he panics and tells Mike, um, no. The next morning, Scott wakes up to his bro going through his email. And he's in disbelief that this German girl would want to come to America to meet with him. But Scott tells him no one shows him a photo of Mike and his cousin, Jan. But his own brother had to correct him. It's actually Jan and Mika. So Scott realizes that he done goofed. Yeah! Understandably, Mika would get upset over this and block him. You're not listening. I don't even care what she looks like. Mika and I, we have this incredible bond. So Coop tries to encourage him to go to Berlin. And he says that Fiona was right about him being predictable and... Somehow that works. <laughs> Coop joins him on his journey and he suggests they get a cheap flight by delivering some packages but there's nothing to Berlin. And the only thing available is to London and they take it. So while on the plane we learn why Coop is actually joining him on this journey. Because somehow he convinced himself that people over there are freaky deaky and he wants to experience it. They're in London now and they want to kill some time till the next bus to Berlin by going to a bar. But they're bombarded with these hardcore Manu fans who was hosting a private party. Okay, but why? And they force them to prove that they're loyal to Manchester United by making them sing the anthem. Okay, I feel like that's not possible. I try to learn the ways of opening all the beers and... So after they pass, they drink and be merry. So they wake up from passing out only to see that they're on a bus. Heading where? Who knows. Where are we going? You mean where are we going? We're gonna see the mighty reds through the frogs in Paris! They end up in Paris and Scott called the twins to meet up with them. And so they did. <laughs> so that happened. That night they're having dinner and Scott persuades the twins to join them on the trip. And somehow they managed to agree. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't, doesn't, doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Why does it have to be a guy with a mustache? Why? Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Big tunnel. Okay, what the f They stopped off at this place called... Oh my god. And they have a couple hours to kill, so they head to their local nude beach. Only to realize it's a complete wiener fest. <laughs> so apparently it's popular knowledge that around this time, there's usually a lot of male tourists who come to 
for the same reason that these guys are there for so the girls relocate to somewhere else so Jen finally catches up with them and the guys oh my god the guys what the hell while on the train Scotty dreams of meeting up with Mika and Evil. They stopped off in Amsterdam and Coop went off to somewhere. Scotty and Jen went to a cafe and have edibles. Wow, they're really just scuffing them down. Wow. And Jamie looks like he's having a blast. Yeah, it turns out where Coop went wasn't where he wanted to actually be. And they gave him a safe word to use. And well, I don't think he'd be able to say it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie gets robbed while he's getting robbed. And by the way, that's all of their money, passports, tickets, all the important stuff. Scotty and Jen are having a bad trip now, except it wasn't edible. <laughs> they just... <laughs> wow. So well, now they have no choice but to hitchhike and this truck driver stops and Scotty tries to talk to him in German and just completely misunderstands the conversation. In Berlin! <laughs> He's going to Berlin. Awesome! Berlin. Berlin! So now they think they're going to Berlin. They're dropped off at Bratislava and decide to pull together whatever pocket change they have, which adds up to a dollar and 83 cents US dollars and somehow it's able to afford them extremely lavish things what is the exchange rate from bratislava oh a nickel you see this i quit that night they head to a nightclub and they try out absinthe it's not legal in the states because it's said to make you hallucinate yeah who would ever want to experience something like that I'm very sleepy. Coop and Scotty are chilling while admiring Jamie hooking up with yet another girl. Except no, it's not another girl, it's his sister. I didn't know it was that type of movie. Yeah, I think it's about time they really stop drinking now. If you're constantly getting that type of result, then it's probably time to call it quits and get some help. Right, so that morning, Coop does not give them a break about what happened last night. <laughs> and this guy that they met when they just got to Bratislava picks them up and tells them that he's on his way to Berlin. So we're back on track to Berlin now. Finally! How long did it take? An hour? Sheesh! So Scotty shows up at her place finally, and her dad answers and said she left for the summer to Rome. Saying she packed up a bag and left. It was all in the classics Greek and so Jamie had a super expensive camera the entire time that he wasn't allowing anybody to touch but he sells it so they could have some money so now we're on a flight to Rome her dad told them she'd be at the Vatican and they get in because actually I'll just show you that guy in the orange jacket is mentally retarded and Jamie pretends to be their tour guide what a retard <laughs> the irony so the guard stops them to tell them one of their English tour guides called in sick, so he has to take on that group as well. So Scotty and Coop scour the place for Mika, and for some reason Coop decides to pull on this rope, which happens to be the bell of St. Marco. So when the Pope dies, the Cardinal Vica, or Vicar of Rome rings the bell to notify the people, and that is the bell he rung. I'm the Pope. Take off the Pope hat. Oh no, it's okay, I'm Catholic. So you're Catholic, and you didn't know about that bell? What a retard. The irony. <laughs> Coop sets the hat on fire, they put it in the fireplace, and the people see white smoke, which means they've elected a new Pope. <sighs> Scott sees Mika, and he's still wearing the hat for some reason. So he slides on one of those sheet decoration things. The stairs was invented for a reason. They get stopped by the guards, but the manu folks handle the situation. Everything seems to be happening right now. I made it. Who are you? 
So he never sent a photo to her? He gives her... The speech. And they get it on in the... <laughs> oh, this movie. This movie. So they're out having lunch, and one of the guys from the tour groups came to tell Jimmy how much of a great job he did. Turns out this guy was the writer of the book Jimmy was using as a guide for his tour group. But he was also adding in new information, so the guy basically hires him then and there. So Jamie stays, the guys get on a flight to head back, and Coop and Jenny get together. I completely glossed over Coop starting to see Jenny as a girl, because, I mean, that was kind of secondary, but yeah, good stuff. Three months pass, and Scotty is in his new dorm at college waiting for his new roommate, and turns out it's Mika, and that's it. That's the movie. Okay, so honestly, despite my low energy today, this was actually a lot of fun to watch. I'm really not entirely sure why, because it was so dumb, but it was dumb fun and I loved every moment of it. <laughs> this one has definitely risen in the ranks for me, oddly enough. Yeah, some of the jokes were weird and dated, but who cares? It was fun. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, it means that you like me. So please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Peace!